Today we're heading out onto Ratgama Lagoon near Gaul in Sri Lanka. The water monitor lizard, endemic to South and Southeast Asia, can be found in abundance in Sri Lanka, so you can expect to see some like this guy during your trip. The lagoon is extremely beautiful, and the hand rowed outrigger canoe means you can enjoy the peaceful atmosphere. But that isn't the only reason we're visiting. We're on our way to a small village to learn more about the local spice trade. Did you know that 90% of the world's cinnamon comes from Sri Lanka? 90%! But where exactly does cinnamon come from? That's precisely what we were there to find out. First we headed into the estate to cut down a cinnamon tree. Then the trunk is taken back to be trimmed into smaller workable lengths. Next the outer bark is grated off with a peeler to reveal the cinnamon underneath. The cinnamon is then massaged with a brass rod to separate it from the inner wood. To remove the cinnamon from the woody trunk, an incision is made all the way around at one end and then at the other. Then the two are connected by making a linear cut between them. Next, the knife is worked under the cinnamon to peel it off the trunk. Another incision is made on the other side, so you can take the cinnamon off in two halves, and it's in the perfect U shape. Fresh cinnamon is wet, so it is dried both inside and outside over the course of a week. The quills are placed end to end and filled with smaller chips to make a long quill the appropriate size for sale. Time for a tea break. Of course, it was cinnamon tea on the menu. It's like a cinnamon donut. Tea. In a drink. In a drink. Cheers to that. Oh, it's delicious. It's so sweet, yeah. It's deliciously sweet. Oh, that's the best cinnamon tea I've had. Thank you, it's great. So we just took out to try some fresh cinnamon. Having seen the cinnamon harvesting process, we then took a tuk tuk to a local cinnamon oil distillery. This is where the leaves that were cut from the tree earlier go to be utilised for cinnamon oil production.
The leaves are essentially heated by a large furnace. The steam is captured through funnels, cooled through pipes, and collected at the other end in buckets, resulting in pure, concentrated cinnamon oil. Oh. Yes, it. So like an anesthetic. I can't feel my tongue anymore. What are you trying there? It's a uh, pure concentrated uh, cinnamon oil uh, straight out of the distillery. And um, I can see why you would apply this to toothaches. Because it's, it's really, really strong and it works more like a, it has an anesthetic uh, effect. Um, and it's very menthol -y, very minty, I think, personally. Um, but, yeah. I think I prefer it in the, the, the donut form. But it's very good. No, no, <laughs> I, I'm not going to do that. And that, Nomads, is where cinnamon comes from. and we're about to take a cinnamon air flight from Kandy to Colombo. This is a journey that would usually take four plus hours by road. Today is only going to take us 20 minutes. Ciao.